Uh, hey, P. Luke, how you doing? Hey, man. Yeah, good to see I'm you good. again. Yeah, we met before, right? Yeah, yeah, a few times now across the years. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, just, I recognize your face. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a shame not to do these in person, but it's all good. Zoom will do for now. Um, the studio is saving a ton of money, so they're happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. Um, so I know you're playing a bit of a nasty bastard here, a monster, if you will. Again. In the opening, again. <laughs> again. <laughs> but in the opening sequences, we have to fall for Ethan like she does. We have to see the appeal. And I actually loved those scenes. And it just got me thinking, are you interested in doing kind of romantic comedies or dramas in, in the States? Oh man, oh man, I would love it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like I told some of your colleagues, the weird thing is this, as long as I have an accent, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, Hollywood, but th 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 a lot of things are happening at the same time right now. There's a revolution going on with women, color, et cetera, et cetera. And it's great. It's all for the better. Uh, one of the, one of the, one of another hurdle is having an accent and 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 want to be like leading man not villain that's 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 it's uphill bro it is uphill but it's getting better it's i'm doing my first non-villainous role on an amc show right now where i play a russian writer the male lead and it's called imitation to a bonfire and i'm i'm honestly i'm loving it it's it's, it's i've done a lot of villains now i, I enjoy it, 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 it work. yeah but this but, villain, know. I mean, because you've played um, kind of like that more unhinged, crazy villains. I mean, in Game of Thrones, for example, but there, there was something very theatrical, almost pantomime villain in a good way. But yeah. Ethan is more measured. He's more calculated and contained at times. Is yeah. tapping into that kind of evil harder as an actor in some ways? Um, uh, but, but, but you can, but no pun intended with the, with the pantomime. I totally agree. It's also a contract you sign with the audience that how can I create a villain that people will remember? When you go on Game of Thrones, you only have a few scenes to do something where people go like, oh, it stood out. It's one of the biggest shows in the world. And still you remember the character you're in great joint. I had like 15 minutes of screen time in three, <laughs> three seasons. So you want to do something. And some of it was great. Some of this, mm, I could have done better. But, you know, it's a hit and miss. At least I did something. It's the same with Samaritan and Overlord. But it's also because you need to analyze, and we talked about those things. You need to analyze what am I part of? What is the story? And how is this visually being told? Mm. For me with Overlord, it was, I want to do a physical performance. That's a very physical character. He, he's a, he becomes a Nazi zombie. With Samaritan, I'm working with Sly. 70s, 80s, 90s, icon zeros, iconic persons. So I wanted to do something like The Lost Boys. With this one, I had no references. Mm. It, this was completely new. That's also the reason why it's one of, I love all my villains, but it's, all, it's one of the villains where I go like, yes. And to be honest, one of my favorite scenes as a villain is in the prison. Mm. It's the prison scene. Because that's psychology. That's psychology. That's a psycho. He's a, that's true sociopath. That is a true essence and evilness. But also, like I'm intrigued. There's something in your eyes. I wanna. I want. I want to take my finger in and take out your eyeball or something like that. You know. <laughs> and those are, those are the things I like to play with. I like the much more psychology. Psych, psychology. What did you, what what did you call it? Psychological. Yeah, psychological approach. I really like that because if you see my Danish work, Borgen, a war, a hijacking, or all those films, it's much more up here. But because I don't have the language yet, it's difficult. I have to do a little bit more mimic. I have to put on a bigger mask to feel it because it's not my um, native speak. I'm not uh, English speaking by birth. Yeah. And just very quick, quickly before I go, because I remember I saw an interview with you on the Spurs website, because I'm a Spurs fan, but I'm not going to go into that. But you called what? going to work a Spurs, yes. But yeah, I, you called going to work on Game of Thrones, like being asked to play for your football club, like a kind of real dream come true. Is yeah. that a sense and enthusiasm you've always had for your craft and still have today when you go on set? Yeah, if I get, I still get enthusiastic. I still, seriously, man, I'm too, man. I'm doing, I'm, doing, I'm, I'm playing a Russian writer in the 30s right now at a girls' boarding school. I love acting. Mm. I love acting. 
and I love every kind of acting. Right now, America has mostly seen me as a villain, which I love. But as an actor, you want to do everything. That's also the reason why every time I do a villain, I try to I try to mix it up. I try to make it different. I try to make it more and more like, you know, a new version of something you've seen a million times before. And with Ethan, I just wanted him to make him realistic. I just wanted him to become a person you could be sitting in at a drinking pints for five hours. And then all of a sudden, he would look you in the eye and he would just fucking take a knife and go like, <clears throat> because you would be like, what the fuck? And that's, you know, the most horrible people are the people you can you you, you can meet in real life. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much, Peter. It's always a pleasure to speak to you. Hopefully you won't long next pleasure time. talking to you as well. <laughs> sure, man. Cool. Take care. See you later. Thank you, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!